Greetings, it is a greeter again. Um, here to play some more Shadow Man. So let's hop to it. Uh, we gotta wait for this to go through the whole Acclaim Studios thing. <clears throat> I am not so tired tonight, so hopefully I'll be able to show you a little bit better how to play this game tonight. Um, especially if I can focus on the correct window so that we can actually start the game. Uh, we're going to restore this adventure. I believe we left off in the Paths of Shadow, so we're going to be put down uh, in the Prophecy Chamber right next to the monsters. It's perfect. Oh, maybe not. Oh, we're at the end of the lava ducts. Okay. Well, we're not ready for the lava ducts yet. We're going to leave them alone. And we need to get into here and do that first before we tackle the lava ducts. I'm going to go down here. I was not expecting to land on something. Um... <clears throat> I think what we will do is go to the playrooms. Um, I don't like starting the playrooms, but once you're into the playrooms, they are really cool. Uh, we can't skip this one, huh? We're not good enough to skip this one. Uh, it's cutscene time, so you know what that means. More stitching, less bitching. What further horrors shall I find within this terrible place? Where in a time before these catastrophic events, I would have willingly accepted pallid imitations of such horrors. I now have come so far, my sensibilities lie benumbed by all I see. I do not embrace this horror, but rather stand immobile beneath its self-indulgent gaze. Confusion reigns, and I fear the god within the machine is no longer there. Uh, Michael Lois is very articulate. I wish I was that good with words. <clears throat> um, this area is not the most fun. You gotta jump down here. There's rays. Okay. It's just that ray. I get, whoa! And that ray. Okay, so there's a few rays here. And there's tons and tons and tons of blood everywhere. Um, this really doesn't even fit in with the whole asylum motif. Let's get our hit point back. Up we go. There are monsters in there. You gotta make sure you make this sleep where you fall back down into the area with the blood. And you gotta come around and do that all over again. will take your soul! <clears throat> and now we want to hop down there. I probably should have hopped up there first. Oh well. Uh, we don't need the baton here. And uh, it is a good thing Shadow Man is technically dead and therefore doesn't need to breathe. Because there's no way a person could survive this. It, uh, not without, you know, like a scuba tank or something. <clears throat> Plus, who knows what's all in the blood.
that's how you clear out this room. I don't know if there's any Kato in here or not. You can blow those things up, which is kind of cool. Uh, occasionally you'll find something in them. Most of them are just decoration that you can blow up. Take a Kato. I'll put the gun away because I think we swim a little bit faster if we do that. It's almost creepier without the music, because it's like, it's silent, and it shouldn't be. you think there would be a current with those turbines going, or those blades going, or whatever the hell you want to call them, but no. What weird looking creatures. But they're guarding a govi. I guess that's kind of cool. Ah, uh, now we have the nursery music. We're totally sneaking in here. That guy does not notice us at all. He will not tell anybody that we're coming inside. Actually, he's the only other guy I can think of that actually says something other than within cutscenes. Oh. We will want to have the baton here, because this area is just no fun at all. That's why this area is no fun at all. You really want to just... You want to head down as quick as possible and get in this door. Now you can walk back at least. <laughs> Nothing worse than getting all that distance and you have to restart the whole thing again. That's actually a little more aggressively than I normally take the area. Um, but I screwed up killing the chainsaw guy earlier, so I knew we needed hit points. And the quickest way to get them is to steal their souls! So, that's what I did there. It's nice to have that replenished. There, we're at full health again. Just gonna see if there's anything down here of interest. Yep, Kato. But just the one Kato? Yep, I guess so. Alright, let's go explore the playrooms. Uh, I understand the music for this is way creepier on the PC version. Um, because of a glitch in the way the emulator renders the game, you may have noticed a Dark Soul way off in the distance. Well, I think we know what's here. that only one half of the door open. Oh, this one isn't guarded at all. That's right, it is the second of three retractors. The third one's in the Undercity. We're a long ways away from getting that. Ah, those flames do burn. Cool. Ah uh, yes, the kind of holy music until this point. Now it just turns creepy. See, there's that dark soul off in the distance. Oh, it's gone now. But it was off in the distance. 
Well, I mean, it still is up, and it's just now we can't see it. Ah, oh, yeah, it's in here. Hey! Okay. Uh, we can't get to it yet, though. Whoops. Did not mean to fall there. Uh, because there is a hook halfway through this rope, so we can't just shimmy over. We gotta find another way over there. I got some ideas about that, though. First, it's weird they can't blow that one up. Let's collect all the goodies here. And then we're going to proceed. These blades spin in the opposite direction from the blades earlier. Okay, that blade, that set of blades rather does. Oh, so does this set of blades. Find it's easier to get through these underwater because you go a little bit quicker under the surface than swimming on top of it. Uh, you would also miss these caddo. Uh, Somebody knows I'm here. Hmm. Okay. Oh, you're the guy who knows I'm here. Okay. Oh, stop that. getting some distance from him so I can more easily target him. Come on. Without him targeting me. These guys are actually very easy to kill, but you need to be a little bit distant from them when you start to shoot them. Come on, pick it up. I think there's another one in here. Yep. Okay. Easy. They sound really cool when they die, and they always give away their position by yelling the word blood. They're bloodthirsty, but I, I usually draw more of their blood than they draw of mine. Uh, we'll switch back to the baton, because I think there's goodies this way, and then we're going to head back in, head back into the blood. You can hear it oozing and bubbling in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Nothing on this. Oh. All empty. That's fine. <laughs> it's a bit strange that we have to do it this way. I've never really noticed that before. And it's also really cool that we use this mechanic in the asylum. I believe there's trouble around this corner. Um, most players actually get to the other side first. Um, I find it's just a bit easier if you get to this side first. Oh, there's rays in here, nice. Did not know that. I guess it's just the one. He can't see me, so he's not gonna shoot. Now he's gonna shoot. But we're right here, we don't care. There's no easy way to get him from this side. You can't get to the other side from that side because the ledge is too high up for you to jump to or latch onto. Um, we'd also, whoops, I did not mean to do that. We'd also not be able to get back if we could jump over there uh, for the same reasons. So I'm just going to keep going this way. I said we would double back after we looked at that area. That's exactly what we're going to do. I 
game's not too generous with the hit points, and it's not too skimpy with them either. It's a good balance. You can always try to get into a cutscene to avoid getting shot. Um, but coming out of the cutscene, you usually get shot anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, he's going to irritate me until I kill him, so let's... Ah. Got to be able to strafe in time. stuff I'm ignoring, but we'll, we'll come back to it. Um, I'm not going that way, because I think that's a one-way trip. I think this just goes back the other way. Uh, yep, yeah, it does. Ah! Okay. Well, I think one of those is a one-way trip, but I also don't know which one at this point. So, might be doing some more doubling back. Huh, that was interesting. There's a monster in there, we're going to set him free. Oh, there's two in there! Boxes. All right. Uh, I think this is the way we came in, so let's head this way. Maybe that's not the way we came in. Maybe we came in. How did we get in here? There's so many paths to take, and the lighting changed. Changed again. Maybe it's my monitor. Maybe my HDMI cables are about to put. Ah, oh, okay. Well, we know where this is. Pretty sure this is the one-way path, but let's take a look. Pretty sure this goes down. Let's make us run through fan blades before we find... Oh, maybe not. Okay. Now we're going to go back. Maybe the, maybe neither of these is a... Well, of course. Maybe neither of these is a one-way path. singing this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is the one-way path. I don't know where that goes. I'm not taking it right now. I'm gonna go the other way. Take the one-way path and we can double back. Which could be a while. I might even forget to do that. The way that actually takes us forward. So I ran through all these blades twice for nothing, and now I'm going to run through them for a third time. 
for something. It's funny how the ones that are easiest to get through are the ones that hurt me. These rooms are why the playrooms get their name. I don't know why I don't have music again. Oh, just speak of the devil. We get another cheat for that. I'm curious which one it could be. Twig boy, play as Deadwing is what we got. I say most of the cheats aren't terribly helpful. I like dead side shotguns could be helpful, maybe, if we had shotguns, but we don't. Um, so I was actually thinking of the wrong rooms. I thought these were the rooms that gave the playrooms their names, but they're not. Um, although, you could play a game of pool in here, if, if you have pool balls. You know, don't mind the blood on the floor, it's fine. Oh, I think we're near the end of this. Aha, uh -huh, we're on the other side now. I believe this will move the hook. It sure... Wow, it moves fast. Holy. It never moves that fast on the console. Alright, let's head this way. Oh. How did he shoot me from across the table? Well, we'll take his soul. And he has a dark soul up here. I feel like he couldn't reach it. Otherwise, he could just take the dark soul and be way more powerful. Get a few cato. Yeah, you can, we can look out there, but we can't actually get out there readily. I think you could if you just jumped down there, but I'm not doing that right now. Whoa! You guys want to see something really cool? We've set the monster free. He is the most pop Move around. He is the most powerful enemy in the playrooms. Uh, you need the marcher gad to get to him, which we conveniently have. So let's oh wait. We've already been that way. We need to go back this way. Mm -hmm. Got to step in the blood, right? Alrighty, run through the turbines, the easy turbines, the only ones that will hurt me, it's fine. Alright, we're gonna take the one-way path now. I did not forget! Knitting's supposed to improve memory, so I, I think that's why I didn't forget. I'd forget my head if it wasn't attached, honestly. Very free of a person. What were we talking about again? Uh, okay, we need to get into this pipe. Yes, I call it a pipe. I guess. I mean, it is technically a pipe. It can be used to transport liquids. Oh. Hang on. There's more to this pipe than meets the eye. Ooh, I think we get up there somehow.
but let's be sure to alert everybody within earshot that we're here and we're gonna get them. They're not the monsters in the night I am! It's great. Yeah, that's how we get them. In fact, we could even snipe them if we really wanted to. Like so. We will take your soul, and we will take your soul. No idea what that is. I've never noticed that before. Looks cool. Mm, head this way. Ooh. Nope. Get up out there. Thank you. Oh, there's a dark soul in here. Take it. Uh, how many are left here? Five out of ten. All right. Well, I know where at least three of them are. Oop. I know where at least four of them are. I think. Maybe I don't. Cause I actually wasn't expecting this. Ah, uh, come on. Get into the container. Get up there. Thank you. Whoops. Hardest dark soul in the game to get, apparently. Jeez. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys something. Um, this is a violator, but we can't take it without filling in three of these things here. We do that with accumulators. The accumulators are only found in life side. So no dead side accumulators. Is there any reason to go in there? Considering the blood smeared on the walls and those two angry looking things in there, I think not. So I think we will head back. Look at that! We're right back at the start again. How convenient is that? how mad he is, but he doesn't notice that I'm here. Oh, he noticed something. He clipped through the door! Wow! I've never seen him do that. Only place to use the gads in this whole part of the asylum. We'll take the Dark Soul. I don't know that we ever need to unlock this or get in there at all. So I'm just gonna leave it. We're gonna head back. I am not gonna use the baton in this fight. I'm gonna use the shield. The shield is cool, and it's very helpful in this particular fight. Because he fires homing missiles. I don't know if they shield you from being trampled by this doofus. But this buys you some time. Well, you can wear him away with your shadow powers. I think he's gone. That took five of my seven voodoo uh, points there. Um, so it's lots of fun when you get to fight two of them at the same time. Which does happen. Hopefully... There's a, no, I, I was counting on voodoo here, not hit points. Maybe I should have taken some damage instead. Good grief. 
need it up here? No, not that way. Okay, we got some green. Thank goodness. Oh, made me climb up there for nothing, thanks. Alright, it would be quicker to warp back, but we're going to walk it. Uh, I need the exercise, as you could tell. Now, this area is much quieter now. I'm sure the monsters will be appreciative of that. Did we ever... Yeah, we came in through that door at some point. Now, because there's the violator there, and because we need to get accumulators to access the violator, um, we will be returning, even if we collect all ten Dark Souls on this run through in the first go. Um, which is my goal. I, I really would like to do that. Uh, I don't know if this actually goes anywhere useful, but let's... Oh yeah, we've already been this way, I think. And already this way too, I think. Oh yeah, we've, we've, we've been here and done all this, so there's only one place left to go now. Um, it is the goal to do that. So, we're going to give that a whirl. I know someone in the comments is going to say, that You have 68 Kato! Nothing. Okay. I thought there might be something in that direction. I guess not. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Never noticed that before. Oh. Good thing. Come on, shoot him! Ah, we're not gonna shoot him, of course not. Let's let's kill him a second time. Oh, he's coming down the ramp. That's just what I wanted him to do. Did that despawn the dog? Because that certainly wasn't the intent. Uh, we want your soul. You took over half my hit points. I don't want revenge, I don't want blood, I just want your soul. We were in that pipe earlier. Which... Means... We were in this one earlier, too. Oh, uh, please tell me there's like a Caddo or something down here. I... Okay, I only came in here for the Dark Soul then, I guess. Oh, uh, that's a bit vexing. Um, I do know where the last Dark Soul is. But I don't quite remember how to get to it. Oh wait, there could be stuff in here. Ah, we're back up to full voodoo power. Actually, no, I do remember how to get to it now. This thing exists because there'd be no way over here without it. And, uh, whoops. Again! If I have to swim through it, I'm fine. If I have to run through it, no, it'll, it'll get me. Every time. Uh, we've been here before. You should recognize what's coming up. We're on the other side now. Well, we don't want to be this close to him, though. Apparently, he only feels pain on the really powerful shots. We're good. 
Last Dark Soul of the Playbirds. I'll live with that. That's nice. Alright, I don't know where we're going to go now, but we're going to find somewhere to go. Uh, hmm. Ah, uh, I forgot we could go to the Cageways. Uh, I think the Cageways is the only place left to go for the time being. I could be wrong about that. Actually, there is one other spot I think I missed. But we're gonna go to the cageways first anyway. I'm gonna show something a bit interesting. You see, that guy's coming to get me. He, he thinks he's gonna crutch that train before it takes off, apparently. No, not a chance. That was all I really wanted to show. I thought that maybe I'd take out the flambeau. Well, actually, maybe I'll do that anyway. Um, I'll put the baton up first just to be safe. Of course, he shot me with the door close. I missed these Caddo on my last pass through here, apparently. Alright. Whoops. Okay. Wow, they are noisy. Holy noise. Useful in there for me right now. I'm just hoping for like a caddo or something. There we go, we got a caddo. Definitely wanted to land here, actually. Again, focus on the window. I clicked off of it and I wasn't thinking. Uh, no, uh, actually I have been it. Well, I feel like there is one place I'm missing. I'll take a clip now. Yeah, there should be a spot here to fill in. I'll be damned if I could think of where that would be. Let's go back to the cageways. I think it's 71. I get another. I think I get another energy level. <laughs> uh, that'll allow me to open another coffin gate and get into the blood temple, which I believe is where the Nagargrad is. But I could be, I could be wrong. I generally don't keep track of those names all that well. Oh yeah, we. We're gonna ignore you. You're not there. You don't exist. Go away. Uh, 
This part of the game's a bit tedious to me. Oh, yeah. But, better to get it over with, right? just full of monsters. Ah, of course you missed. Whoa, come on, die now. They gave you way too many hit points when they made you. <laughs> oh, maybe crawling. Oh. Really? How did he hit me twice? Okay. There's two Govi in this room. First one's easy to get. We can see it. We can shimmy over it and we have it. Second one's not so easy to get. That one's a real pain in the neck to get, actually. Ah, come on, grab a rope. Actually, I'm gonna leave Shadow Man hanging. I'm gonna take a brief intermission. I will be right back. And I'm back. Again, let's focus on the right window. Now, I'm not sure if this is the intended path or not, but what I like to try to do is jump over here, then over here, and then I like to try to jump at this at just the right angle, uh, that was totally wrong, uh, to grab onto the ledge of the cage, which then allows me to swing in, and I can go ahead and grab the Gobi. I wonder if I could use those pipes to maybe make this journey a bit quicker, because it usually takes me quite a few attempts to get this. It's hard to get the angle just right. It's hard to get the timing just right. Like, everything has to line up. There we go. Is it worth it for the one Cato? Yeah. We can actually get over there fairly trivially. If we don't uh, grab onto that. Alright. Come on. I can't do first person viewing this way, huh? Oh, that would work anyway. Okay. Alrighty. Let's head this way. I think it takes us to that weird room that we saw earlier. Yep. This is annoying. I mean, it's a cool puzzle. It'd be less annoying if people weren't shooting at me. You know what I mean? Oh, another Govi there, huh? Oh, nice. Okay.
All right, well, let's give this another try. If you're above the next one, you can easily jump down. These are cattle, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, man, I thought I had that. here too. Cool. Glad I spotted this one. I would walk right away from it. Oh, no cat out of this time. Pretty sure I can't make that jump. But you know what I can do is I can jump here. And then I can jump here. Then I can do a tightrope run to here. Oh, I was off! I should have looked down first, I guess. Oh well. Guess what we get to do again? No idea what purpose that machinery would actually serve. It just it seems to just frustrate players, I think. Maybe not frustrate, but ah Okay, now frustrate's the right word. <laughs> oh yeah, of course it's on the way up when I get back here. Come on, hurry along. Thank you. And I missed it entirely. Cool. It looks so close. We cannot shimmy through that, huh? Okay. No, oh, let me up here! Thank you. again. Alrighty. Ooh, that is a small narrow drop. I think we're good now, though. Oh, come on! Oh. Okay, you know what? I think maybe... I collided with the hitbox for the Gobi. And maybe that pushed me off. So you know what? When I get back over to the other side, I'm gonna shoot it. Wasn't lying. Maybe now I'll collide with the hitbox for the Dark Soul. And only have to come up here one more time! Oh! Mmm! I hate this. Let me up here. That Dark Soul in the playrooms that I said was the hardest one to get, I lied. Clearly. Or I just completely forgot about how frustrating this one is. Okay. Better off going to the right, maybe? I don't know. I don't think so. There we go. 
Finally. Are mine. Watch my power go out and I'll have to do it all again because I didn't save the game yet. Alright, wait for it to come back down. Alright, we're finally through with this room for now. We're going to leave. Oh, wait a minute. Really? That's all I needed to do to make this easier? Wait, I bet it swings back. Oh, yeah, it totally swings back. Never mind. I did do the right thing. I don't care if the game intended that or not. Running up the hill. <laughs> I feel like I hear somebody, like one of the hookmen, uh, slashing away at those things they slash away at. If you ever sit down and watch the opening demo, I don't know where they'd be, but I, I swear I hear them in this area. Down we go. How many do we have here? 10 out of 11? We have 69 dog cells! I'm sure someone else is going to point that out in the comments too. Oh, there's the 11th one. Right here. Uh, before I hop into that cage, yes, there's Caddo. Alrighty. Where are we going to get the 71st dark soul? Uh, I'm thinking Lava Ducts. I said I'm not quite prepared for them. I still maintain that I'm not quite prepared for them, but um, I think I was one or two there I can get without the Nagargad. So I'm gonna head over there and see what I can dig up. Once the game loads. Ah oh, yes, gotta do your rope sounding thing. Oh, crap, you were here. I'm not used to be coming from this direction. I've never warped here before, so. I believe this coffin gate contains the marteau, which is the French word for hammer. I'm the Lord of Dead Side. <laughs> And yes, I need to step on every single thing I can find. Every single thing. It uses up a fair amount of voodoo power to uh, use the Martel. So you don't want to be doing this every day type thing. Oh, okay. That was weird to see that glob of acid whizzing by my head. <laughs> don't think I've ever seen that in this game. I'd also like to find the third piece of Leclipser, because I honestly have no clue where that could be at this point. Alrighty, lava ducts, here we come. The lava ducts are fairly huge, um, but you do need the Naggergads to get everything in there. You're just not getting. You're not getting much unless you can swim in the lava.
Nah, we don't get the cool cutscene again. I guess we're just gonna run. I hate these gates because they look like they lead somewhere like wow. Let's just get a better look. Someone where his face isn't pressed up against the bar. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, ignore the red fog. Um, it looks like it could lead somewhere really cool. But now nah, we can't go down that way. This area in the Undercity has the same music. It's the best music in the game. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. That music. Oh! Same deal here. Path that's blocked off. Uh, maybe someday if I ever figure out a no-clip cheat for this game. Uh... This area here is actually very easy to forget about, so I'm just going to pop in here. I think there's no enemies, but there is a Dark Soul. That's what we needed! Um, see, that's what I kept thoughting. Thought yeah, great English, Alexander. Uh, that's what I kept thinking I would hear in the play, not in the playrooms, in the cageways. A few minutes ago, I swear I've played this game before and can speak English. You might not believe me, but it's true. I think that's the only Dark Soul you can get without swimming in the lava. Oh, wait, did it just open these? Okay. I do want to get the landmark here before we head out. We were just over there a few minutes ago. Oh, I was wrong. We can get this Dark Soul here, too. Can't get that one yet. But once we have the Nagra Gad, I'm sure it'll be no problems to get it. Hmm, that's kind of interesting. Usually the engine's a lot louder than that. See, you just get cooked if you head in there. There's also enemies here that will shoot you at very long range. Um, whoops, I, I don't want to read the file, go away. Uh, let's head back to the Temple of Prophecy. We're going to double back again, um, but this time we are going to go to the Temple of Blood and try to get the Nagar Gad. That's what we're going to focus on. We're not going to try so many puzzles unless it's necessary to get the Gad. I hear you, but I don't care. <laughs> I 
Can I just jump up here? Good. <laughs> Open this coffin gate. I honestly still don't know where to get the third piece of the Eclipser. I feel like I should be able to pick it up by now. But I could be wrong. The last of the ancient places lies beyond. These trials of Gad to prove the taker of the souls is me, the shadow man of prophecy, tested, tried, and placed upon the altar of this damned destiny. For there can only be the one in a long and lusting line of warrior gods. Tis I, the proof is plain upon my back, my arms, and in my eyes. I am the one. The Shadow Man of Prophecy. Of course, that stitch is going to give me grief. Alright. Let's move on. There's two statues up there that block our path. Pretty sure we don't want to tamper with that. I can't jump on the switch to do anything with that. Oh, the other switch is just over on the other side. Okay. Oh, they both come to life. Okay. I thought they'd wait until I activate the other switch, or be one per switch. No, it's nothing like that. Come on. You got me from behind, really? Pretty sure I can expect to grab the second one in peace. Pretty sure the game didn't intend for people to get here this way. But that's fine. I really don't care what the game intended at this point. Same with getting up here. There is nothing this way, unfortunately. Just some health and um, voodoo. Everything's this way. We get a landmark here. I see you're supposed to get over there, but again, statue in the way. And if you make a mistake here, you die like this. So don't make a mistake, and you'll be fine. Hmm. That is way too high for him to use the switch to jump. <laughs> Most... Uh, no. A lot of the puzzles here don't actually rely on the sisters to get in your way or interfere with you. Some do! Like, you see that in every temple, clearly, but... They they make heavier use of different obstacles, um, and that's kind of unfortunate, because the end of this, the final trial before right before you get the gad, it's awful. <laughs> Just gonna tell you right now, it's awful. Oh. Don't jump for that. I'm just gonna try to double jump there and get onto this moving platform, but it's like, oh no, I don't have momentum. Don't do it. You could jump down there and get around things that way. Uh, I prefer to go this route. I feel it's safer. And you can skip that guy. Uh, you can't skip the second guy very easily, if at all.
You activate that switch and it moves those guys over there. You want to jump on them on the left side. So then that gets you here. Let's see, without activating that switch, that well, you might be able to jump from there, I don't know. But that's about as far as the game was intending for you to get. This part is a bit nasty in this version. Um, if you if you get this wrong, those things will slice you, you will lose your grip, and you will die. It's as simple as that. I don't think you can quite jump across that. Although it might be possible to jump and skip a couple of those swirly things. If you're willing to take the risk. Oh yeah, thanks. Ooh, yep. That one will wake up. I just prefer to jump over it. And again, more swirly things. I don't know why they don't cut the rope. It's just the way they work, I guess. Not a fan of this part. Can I make it? Oh, that was close. I didn't think I was going to make it. I really shouldn't have gone for that, but I did. Alright, and this is the end of the road here. I mean, you can go through this door. Sure. You can't do anything on the other side, except maybe use the martel. Big deal. Um, there's much more important uses of voodoo power coming up. So I will not be using the Martell. Oh, shoot! I, I thought you had to solve a puzzle to wake these ones up. Stop moving. Yeah, I, I, I thought you had to do something to wake them up. I guess not? don't care about that dark soul right now. Like, I really don't. I can come back and get that dark soul later. Now this part sucks. These things sink. If you stand on them too long, they will refloat. Sure. When you press the switch, the sisters wake up. There's three of them. They all wake up at the same time. They all shoot. Whoa. They all shoot at you at the same time, because they all wake up at the same time. They fly in figure eight patterns, and they're the ones with the most hit points. This sucks. Oh, and there's limited maneuvering room, because if you go the wrong way, you'll throw yourself in the lava and drown. Well, not drown, but you'll fry with press. It's not a fun time. And they are hard to get. Holy. Only two of them woke up for some reason. I almost 
looked like it was homing. I do want to recover hit points as much as possible. I'm just gonna go get the gad as quick as possible before that thing can wake up. Oh, uh, well, actually, maybe not. I'm gonna regret saying that, aren't I? Come on, shoot Blood Sister, or whatever the hell it's called. That was easier than the others. Alright, that is the last gad. And we turn into a bunch of polygons when we step onto the uh, platform. It's fine. I think the same thing happens. He plunges into lava. Yeah. Um, I don't know why we don't have the effect going off here. Um, we just don't, I guess. Oh, okay, I don't know why he surfaced like that. Um, there's a couple of Caddo down here, I believe. Not down here, certainly in a couple of other lava lakes. Uh, we are now completely mean to fire now, by the way, which is really nice. Alright, we'll go and grab this Dark Soul, I guess. Did I see a pot down there? No. <laughs> Alright, let's go this way, solve a few puzzles, I guess. Can't solve them all. I think the most we can get without Shadow Level 9 is 6 of the 8 Dark Souls in this area. So that's what we will be aiming for. You know what, just for the hell of it, let's try to... let's try to... I guess you could skip that guy either way. Oh no, I have fallen in the lake. Whatever will I do? No sarcasm at all. It's an odd orientation for the Caddo. The one thing I do like about Lava Lakes is that once you have the Gads, you don't need to worry about them at all. Um, there's no like lava rays that live in here or anything that will try to gobble you up. It's, it's, it does tend to surface apparently though. I've never seen that happen and twice in one night now. No easy way up on this side, that's unfortunate. There's no way up 
at all. I thought there was. I'm gonna take my preferred route. I never noticed that stuff before, though. Wow, look at that. Two Caddo I never knew were in the game. There are 512 Caddo in total. I've definitely not found them all. Don't think this actually leads anywhere. No. See, you can't get through this area at all. Um, you can do this, I guess. Uh, and that sets you up for solving the other puzzle, I believe. And this doesn't even wake anybody up, so that's nice. That's kind of interesting. I've never landed on top of that thing before. Whoa, okay. Definitely. There, okay. We're gonna take this one in here. We'll get those later. I'm pretty sure there's quite a struggle to get up there once you're on this side. Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Yeah. Not as much of a struggle as I thought. The dark souls are mine. Something weird going on with the sound. That does happen in this game on occasion, though. Um, there we go. Now we're gonna head this way. Let's take a swim in here. There we go. way to do that, but here's what it is. Alright, and then we try this puzzle again. That again, I don't think I will wait. Mm, still cutting it awful close. Alrighty. Pretty sure there's no way up there without activating a switch. I don't know where the switch is offhand. Let's get the marteau. We're gonna open up these drums here.
case that's what wakes them up, although I don't think it was. I don't think this wakes them up at all. Well, oh, that was a waste of time. Total waste of time. Yeah, we'll take that. <coughs> that was easy. Is there anything in this lake at all? Hmm, starting to feel like the answer is no. <laughs> um, nope, there's nothing in this lake. There's anything else here, so back we go. Not there. Back we go here. Got a few ideas about what to do next. Could have just warped back, I guess, but... Hey, we can get another hit point. Courtesy of the Loa. We're not going to do that right now, though. Although next time we do that, we're going to get the final Dark Soul out of the Wasteland. Ah, yes, this room. Uh, where? No, 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 don't teleport out of here. We're gonna have this ready. Don't think there's anything here we can do? No. Pretty sure that's not destructible. that. <laughs> you know, meet and greet and eat the locals. I hate that you can't get them in a dormant state, but it does make sense. Nope, can't get up there. At least not that way, I mean. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. The sister's awake. I didn't jump in time. Whoa! Okay. Damn. 
This is why it sucks that they don't use these more often in the quest of the Niagara Gad. Because they use them a lot more everywhere else and they are tougher. This is an interesting dynamic here. You can't hit that switch because it's underwater, and that's the while well, it's under lava. And that's the switch you need to hit to raise the lava level enough that you can actually leave. So you have to use this switch first, which will lower the lava level. Actually, I didn't notice that that pops out. What happens if you press it again? Does it just go back? No, it just never does anything ever again. Okay. It actually, it actually sounds like you're walking around in water. But it's lava. And now you just wait. this border is here. And this just takes us back to the area where we used the marteau earlier. We can also double back and go this way now. Of course this now means that neither switch can be pressed ever again. Wait now. Huh. Sure, I get Cato now. When I got them before and I busted those open by mistake. It's usually easier to run out than run in. Um, a lot less dodging, which is nice. That's just that switch, so we'll head back this way. I'd like to know where they are. Oh, there's one! Oh, of course. No! Where did you come from? I think that's everybody. Does this open up at all? I don't think it does. I think we gotta press it again. Come on, get around there. Alright, so pressing it while it's rotating doesn't actually do anything. Is there something that keeps catching on that corner? Holy smoke! makes this room pointless. So the only other pointful room will be this way. Let me in! Let me in, let me in! Thank you. Oh, and then these two will wake up. Okay.
kind of figured the other one would be a voodoo skull, so I relied more on my voodoo that time than I would normally would. Alright, everywhere should be accessible back here now. And I bet you this activates the one in that other area that I was in. Right before you get to the final area for the GAD. Oh, shoot, why did I do that? Up we go again! <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. Well, I've had to miss a pot at that range. I believe that's five. No, that's six. Well, then we might be able to get seven. Well, let's see. Ah, of course. Alright. So we head this way. This is a one-way trip, but aha! We now have the blood falls that we need. So we can climb up here, maybe get a few more Kato. I can go through one, but not the other? Okay. One's slightly closer to the wall, I guess. I missed the barrel point blank range twice! Uh, so I'm gonna land on that torch. I guess that's not gonna happen this time. Alright, we will teleport back here. And this door opens without a switch, so that's nice. There is a cheat there, I believe. And it's not the easiest to get. So you see, you can't jump for it from this angle. You have to jump from further away if you're going to go for it at max speed, or... You have to slow your momentum down. And the easiest way to do that is to come at it from an angle so that, you know, so not too much of an angle. Ah! Fudge, that didn't work. <laughs> and we'll get up here again and try it again. There is a cheat there. I don't know what the cheat is. Oh! I almost had that. <laughs> But you know what they say, almost only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. Um, that was a completely terrible attempt. Um, maybe instead of an angle, I will try the approach of jumping from further away. No. Angle's gonna be easier. Or maybe I can strafe over? I don't know. That might be the way to do it, actually. Give that a shot. No, strafing is not the way to do it. So I think that's the best I would have done, and it still didn't quite get me over there. It is possible to get there. Ah! But it's that upper lip on that thing that just 
it completely screws things up for getting over there. It is possible I have done it before, but it does take a while sometimes. Holy. You know, if you need to get like a coffee or something, now's the time. Um, if, if you need to go make the coffee first, now's the time. If you need to go pick up the coffee from the store, now's the time. Ah, oh, that wasn't even close. I need a steep wrangle, I think. <clears throat> if you need to grow the coffee beans first, now's the time. What? No, what was that? Oh. These controls are terrible sometimes. No. It's possible to get up there. I've done it before. I will do it again. It's probably Caddo or something in there. Or it's just what the game wants me to think. Okay, that's too steep an angle. If you want to learn French so that you understand what all the French terms in this game mean, time. You got time to do that. Maybe if I try from a standing start instead of a running start. No, no, standing start doesn't give us enough momentum. <sighs> I swear the game isn't usually this boring. I swear I'm not usually this boring. Although people who know me may beg to differ. Um... Oh, that was close. Uh, there we go. Told you it could be done. It only took about 50, 60 tries. Uh, play is Bloodshot. I have no idea who that is. Ooh. Jeez, I have no idea who that is. <laughs> um, Deadwing is the flying monster. I'll show you him, I guess. Okay. He looks kind of cool, but I don't want to play as him. I hate that guy. Uh, so we'll turn that sheet off if it'll let us. There we go. Uh, Twig Boy just shrinks him. He's real skinny, see? I don't like that either. The hitbox doesn't shrink, so... Um, I'll turn that off. The cheats are kind of cool, but I, I honestly don't care for most of them. Now what I used to try to do here, is try to jump up like that. I don't think it's possible, but I could be wrong. No, I don't think you can get up there like that at all. But you can get in here. Um, I think this wakes them up, but I could be wrong. And you can't quite jump up there. Well, I guess it doesn't wake them up. Um, we will inst well, we can't go this way because this path is too steep. Even if you jump at the last second, you just can't quite make it up there. Uh, you need the Calabash to shatter these panels. You can't get that until you're at level 9 for your Shadow Meter. So, we're going to double back again. Uh, we will come back to that area. We're not going to go back up there right away. We're going to slip in here. Uh, it might be quicker to warp, but I'm not going to do it. I don't think it'd be quicker to warp because of that cutscene. 
We're gonna try going into that area. And I remember this area. Mm. Use the flambeau. Alright, and we use the flambeau again. We'll use the marto. I think this is the one area where it's actually... Ooh, somebody woke up. here we could actually see where we warp from which is really cool um, use the marteau again lose a voodoo point switch back to the baton jump down here Switch to the flambeau. Did that not trip that? It didn't. Pretty sure that woke up the other one. She is. Luckily, there's lots of voodoo to be had in this part of the game. And you need the calabash to get in there. <laughs> Funny. Uh, we will be returning. Um, I don't want to go to the cageways. I guess we'll return to the path of shadow. <clears throat> there's, there's an area I want to check out. Actually, there's a couple of areas I want to check out, but there's at least one in particular that I want to check out. So much easier to deal with now than at the start of the game, for sure. Kinda glad that mechanic exists, if I'm being honest. Especially since those uh, monsters become more numerous the further you progress in the game. At least within the Paths of Shadow. And we wait for this to load. Mm -hmm. Alright. I feel like there's a coffin gate in here that I may have forgotten about. I'm gonna take a look around. Of course I've wasted that shot, that's nice. Alright, we're 
not going for a swim in that pool. We're just gonna keep going this way. Pretty sure there's nothing this way. That's the wrong way. That leads to the blood fall. We never open this. Or maybe we did. Nah, I feel like maybe we did. Nah, no, we already got this coffin gate. And the item inside. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing, because I was kind of hoping I missed this one. Um, Alright, well, let's warp to the fire temple. Once we find it. Once we find it, we can warp to it! We actually need the calabash for one of the ones here, too, so... I don't expect to make too much progress, but we'll take a hop down here. Nothing in this lake, I don't think. I'd still like to know where the hell that third piece of the blade is. I feel like I found parts one and three, like. Uh, no, I found parts one and two. Part three is still MIA. I might need to consult the official map on this one. No! Okay. We'll try it again. I'm sure they're hoping that's what the newbies do. Okay. I'm good at missing those pots at point blank range. never noticed that texture before. <laughs> Alright, let's jump down here. Somewhere around this way. Oh, yeah. That takes us to an altar on the outside. Oh, in this room at all. That takes us on an altar just to the outside of the main entrance. That's the hugest switch I've ever seen. <laughs> the other hugest switch I've ever seen. I mean, this seems easy. This seems easier than it should be at this point in the game. Oh, that's why I don't remember this room. I was never here. Makes sense now. I find it 
God, there could be nothing else this way. Uh, I guess that's what it is. Actually, probably no way back here. No, that is a hard no. So, use this. We'll show you where it goes now instead of just telling you where it goes. See, this area should look familiar. Don't need to worry about these anymore. I'll show you. Watch. Okay. Nice. Being totally immune to fire. Oh, what the? I was trying to jump off of that jar, maybe do a ledge grab, but it did not work out at all the way I'd hoped. Oh, hey. Oh, wait, I already did that. Never mind. I've already been this way. How many missing here? I'm missing two. Oh, yeah, and this was the other coffin again. I've definitely been here. I wouldn't be able to advance too far in the game without having been here. Oh. I also don't know where to go from here. Try the prophecy temple again. Why not? But again, we shall turn around. I have an idea, actually. Pretty sure I have an idea of where that coffin gate might be located. We gotta wait for this next zone to load. <clears throat> Which will happen, honest. Then we gotta go this way. Aha! The missing piece of the puzzle. I am the Lord of Dead Side. And now, for the first time in this epic journey, we will warp to Life Side. This triggers a cutscene, so. We'll let it do its thing. Betty, I found out how to five reach this world. But when I cross over from the asylum, it's always daytime life side. And I'm gonna need my powers as Shadow Man to truly kick their asses. Maybe I should just hang back and wait for nightfall. Which ain't easy, cause the five are after my blood. No use hanging back, Mike. The prophecy's upon us, and with every hour, we're drawing closer to its terrible conclusion. Well, if I can't use my shadow powers on the five, we're screwed. Not yet. Your esteemed predecessor, Maxine St. James, once spoke to me of Leclipsar, the bringer of night, an ancient blade said to release the shadow into the world of men. You already have this blade. Give it to me. Lay down, Mike. I thought you'd never ask. Is uh, this gonna hurt much? <laughs> yes. I thought so. Try and be gentle with me. Bringer of night, let live, sir. Release the shadow into the world of men. Lesole, brother son. The loon, sister moon. The lamb, the power that binds. A 
and the sorceress fell into a deep trance. No, she didn't. She was exhausted, and a shadow did fall upon the world of men. The prophecy is fulfilled. Agneta! It is done. Seek out the five. Destroy them and the evil that controls them. I must sleep. That is the main turning point in this game. Doesn't actually bring Nightfall, it triggers an eclipse, I believe. At least that's the official like canon of the game, I believe. Which has the same effect in terms of bringing up the Shadow Man. Uh, we should now be able to get seven of the eight Dark Souls in this area. Unfortunately, These dogs will now always target us, um, and not because we shot them at by accident early. Um, ooh. The eighth dark soul is there if you use the calabash. We saw that cat at the start of the game. I don't know if you did or not. Uh, this is how you get it. No idea why this building exists. It seems weird to have a beat up old building for an altar that nobody else can use. Danger! No, there isn't. I know what I'm doing. It's not dangerous at all. But we are gonna go this way. I believe there's Cato down here. Yeah, there's one. Let's go pick it up. There's one here too. This area looks cooler at night. I, I think it does. The sky looks cooler. That's weird. There's usually a dog here. Oh, there he is. I like to know how the blood clips through the wall. I have an affinity for reptiles, so I'm going to spare these gators, even though they're trying to eat me. Um, they move really fast in the water. Fast enough that you you want to swim for your life to get out of the way. Um, they don't often appear in water, though. I don't know why. I was wondering what would happen here, because I knew the shotgun was there, and I knew this would trigger. But, you know, it, it does the Dark Soul first, and then the shotgun. You know, that alligator may appear now, I don't know. I think there's a cat one back here. I 
How many do I have here? I have five. I know where one of I know where two of the others are. So that would bring me up to seven of the eight. One of them's inaccessible right now, but I can certainly get the other one. Yay, shotgun shells, that's helpful. Actually that could be helpful, now that I think of it. I thought that was a dog. It's a cat -o. That's a dog. We're gonna snipe him. Oh, I just found the other one. That was the one I didn't know about. I don't remember knocking this bridge down. are not even going to fight with you. We can avoid it anyway. Even the church looks kind of cool at night. Uh, we are just going to keep on trucking because this way will take us to the last of the Dark Souls that we can access. their souls at this point. Whoa! How did he not hear an adult human being crashing down beside him? I'll take your soul. Because I'm a jerk like that. I believe that is seven of the eight in this area. Uh, let me just double check. Yep, seven of the eight. And it even changes the icon. That is like the icing on the cake for this effect. Come on, and we will now go to the Cathedral of Pain. Um, where we will now show what this area is for. Even though we got to it very early in the game. I want weapons for this. Come on, get him! You'll be crap. He's gonna live a second time. They respond very quickly, holy. I guess they don't regain all their hit points, though. Alright. The thing is, I don't recall which of these paths I want to take. I think this is not one of them, but I'm going to check it out first. Uh, nope, this is one of them. So, it looks a bit like a cathedral. There's pews here, but what the hell is going on? Well, we're going to show you after we equip this. Pick up these two caddo, and we have a human torso with something in it that should look familiar, and we can actually do this to it. Hmm. What does that do? It warps you somewhere. Where, you might ask? 
the Gardell County Jail in Texas. And it de-equipped us. I need to open this. I wonder if he needs to open this. Hey, you! This is private property. No, it isn't. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? I ain't your boy. <laughs> Don't you get up any with me. You trespassing on my property. I can call you anything I choose, boy. I didn't see no signs, fatso. That's cause you didn't arrive by the front door, did you? I don't need an invitation, fat man. I've been sent here by a higher power. I'm the only power around these parts, boy. You gonna find that out soon enough. You gonna find out what survival is all about. Just like a rerun of the Nam. It's Judgment Day for you and all your kind. This is the end, beautiful friend, for we are... Big. Don't want to be late picking up the controller to the end of this cutscene. Jesus, I don't need this bullshit. Yes, you do. It de-equipped it again! Look at him. It's almost like he's disintegrating. It's awesome. Or devolving, I guess, is the word. He's trying to run away now. Shoot him in the back. Oop. Okay, never mind. Um, this is kind of like a boss. Oh! No, 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 no. I'm out of voodoo. Ah, but I'm just one, so we're good. And that's how you do that. I don't believe there's any other threats here, but I do need to recuperate. Um, would have had an easier time of it if I had gotten some of the other weapons first. But I figure I'm at shadow level 8. Uh, I could take the guy. And I was right. Just. Um, some health and or voodoo would be very, very nice to find right now. No, you're not. Look what's in here. An accumulator! One of five in the game. Uh, most people, I imagine when they first find this, it's because they've stuck past that guy and have run this way and have explored a bit. At least that's how I first found it. And it has absolutely no use at that point. Now, if you could, this is how you'd progress, but um, there's something else you have to do to open that. I don't know what it is offhand, but I'm sure I'll figure it out at some point. No way I'd let you grab that? Okay. Then we'll move on up here. hit points back, but it'd be nice to have our voodoo back, too. The lighting effects are kind of irritating. This is not like this on the console. Well, now we'll go back to the Cathedral of Pain. Someone's shooting at me again, huh? You! Where did you come from?
Right, let's try this one. I think it came from here. It usually doesn't come out this way. I think this is the other one we used. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, of course it's empty. Ah, he's all empty? Okay, good, there's voodoo here at least. Alright. This immediately drops you into a cutscene. And you know what that means. I'm going to get a few more stitches knitted onto this sweater. So that it won't take me seven months to finish it. Yank? I haven't come for a party, mister. You crazy son of a bitch. You got your damn party, all right. Again, don't want to be late picking up the controller to this fight. Uh, yeah, why not? You suck! <laughs> You're dead. Does he was terrible? Like he hit me once. <laughs> That's one of the other weapons. I said, "Oh, that would make it easier, probably." Because although you can't kill them with these weapons, you can injure them. Um, I actually did think about maybe swinging here first to grab them, but uh, you have to load them with bullets or they don't work out well. There we go. They give you all kinds of pickups here. That shotgun ammo was completely useless to me. There must be a way to open this. No, there mustn't. He comes to life later. We don't see that here, but he, he will. So will he. If they don't blow up when you shoot them, they come to life. You need a prison card to activate this. I don't know why you need a prison card in a jail. I don't know why they're housing prisoners in jails. They should be housed in prisons. Um... Is there anywhere else easy to get? The Dark Souls Act. I have 87. I could go to the Lava Ducts now. But I'm not going to do that. I think I will once again go to the Cathedral of Pain.
since we have two of the three needed retractors, uh, yeah, I definitely just want to make sure that this is the one I want to use first. Um, actually, you know what? Oh, okay. Let's go to the Temple of Life first. And then we'll come back here. And there's a reason for that, which I will explain in a few minutes. Uh, we will get to that explanation for sure. Bye. We can now hop in here. Make sure there's nothing behind us. Um, that's why we check. <laughs> Oh, we can't get up that way anyway? We can get up this way. And I believe that is the last Dark Soul here. Yep, 13 out of 13. Mm, but... There's a Caddo. You, know, you probably saw that early in the game too and were wondering, well, how the heck do you get up there? That is how. We are not going to go that way. In fact, we're never going to see that part of the game ever again in this particular run through of it. Bye. Oh. That was going to be a lot more dramatic than that. Now we'll make an offering to the Loa. These gifts I give to thee, O gracious Loa, O generous. Shut up. way again. And this section will be the last one I do, and then I'll, I'll, I'll put them into the stream for the night. But I do really want to get this done. So, what are these retractors for? This! And now, we can teleport. This does not dump us in a cutscene. But where does it take us? Two of them took us to the Gardell County Jail in Texas. This one... takes us here. Mordant Street, Queens, New York. Oh shoot! I hit the action key and it sucked me back in and now I'm going back to the Cathedral of Pan. I don't want to go back there. I mean, I'd rather be there than where I was, but still. Well, that'll suck us back in again and take us back to New York. Let's get away.
Now, this area, in my opinion, is the creepiest vibe of any place in the game. It's dark. It's scary. There is a known serial killer living in here. Um, I haven't gone through it, but if you read Deacon's file, he actually killed his own mother after she bailed him out of prison. So, he got a real piece of work. Oh. I hate this guy. I bid you welcome. Enter freely and of your own will. Don't mess with me, little man. Little big man. Little big man. <laughs> Didn't your mama never tell you? It don't matter how big. My mama loves me. She never loved you. My mama kisses me. My mama would never, never, ever kiss you. No, not never. Wasn't as important here to be done in time for the cutscene to be over. Um, this one you basically need to solve puzzles to get to the guy. Um, if you can find a flashlight, it's super useful here. I've played this game numerous times, and I have no freaking clue where the flashlight is at all. I used to know, and I used to use it here. Can I find it now? Nope. You don't want to shoot those light bulbs. That you can actually light them up. Oh. But yeah, this this one just has the creepiest vibe. Um, he is one of the harder of the five to defeat, I think. Um, there's other creepy things in this house too, which we'll see as we go along. That don't make a hell of a lot of sense. Oh, and there it's not a huge chance, but there is a chance that he will find you as you're running through this house, although there is a spot you're supposed to go to to have your final battle with him. Yeah, he can go to find you. So I hated this growing up. As, as a kid who was frightened easily, absolutely hated this. Um, did not enjoy this level one bit. See, that's the other creepy thing. What the hell is a dead sider doing here? Uh, this dead sider, oddly enough, never attacks you. Only dead sider in the game that does not do that. That can also happen sometimes. That's pretty irritating, to be honest. Um, this time we were able to jump up. It's not always a luxury that you'll have. So you want to watch your step. It will be nice to find the power to this place. But yeah, the home improvement killer's MO, well, one of them, was he'd actually cut the power to his victim's house first, and then stalk them in the darkness with night vision goggles. Um, then he would actually have a little tiny poem written on a scrap piece of paper, and he would leave it in the skull of a canary at his crime scenes. So that's how they were able to link him to various crimes. Oh, Cato, we'll take that. Um... So yeah, playing the level that frightened me the most as a child, and uh, doing this right before bed at three in the morning when I live alone, yeah, it's it's, it's a good time. It really is. Uh, so this just a, no, no, this isn't just a dead end. There's some more here. I'll take that soul. We don't know whose soul it is. He just left it there, I guess.
Oop, yeah, that area is uh, not there. <laughs> like, the flooring isn't there, so... Whoops, I did not mean to touch the mic. That's fine. We... This room is really dark. I mean, I know technically I could TV sets. I don't know what that's about. I know technically I could use from uh, flambeau here. Uh, I don't want to shoot the lights. I think if you shoot them, they actually don't turn on. Here we go. The good Lord said, "Let there be light." Let's delight in the light. Uh, anyhow, the home improvement killer is the whole reason I actually went and picked up the uh, the extra hit point at the Temple of Life a few minutes ago. Uh, now that that's powered, we should be able to use this elevator to get up to a higher floor. If we can get down to the elevator, that would be fantastic. You know there was water there. It could be blood, too. There is a surprisingly, obscenely amount, obscenely amount, obscenely high amount of blood in this house. Um, we will see that shortly. And then that just adds to the whole creep factor. Like, why is all this blood in this house? Where is it coming from? This man did not kill that many people. Um... But, yeah, that's what it is. Um, well, we're not going that way. <laughs> Hard to go that way without a floor. <sighs> Can't go that way either. There, there is a way to do this. I just don't know what it is. Uh, maybe we do go this way. We'll just jump for it. That's what we do, I guess. Would have been helpful to shoot that box first. This is the part where it gets creepier. Fact, uh, no, actually. We need the shadow gun a while longer. I just find that whole vibe creepy. Oh, here's the accumulator! Nice! We only need one more to complete a set for the violator. Bloodfall. I'm going to switch weapons now. Actually, I need the flambeau or I can't frickin' see! You can wear him down with this, but then he just disappears. Whoops. Alrighty. Pick up a little voodoo power. That do power alone for now. Uh, 
There's a second dead side over here. I never knew he was here. Put him out of his misery. It's also the first time I've ever used flambeau as a weapon. Now, there's an open space here somewhere. Uh, I think we gotta go back the other way. Damn you. I hate this one more than any of the other five. I'm glad he is finally done. I'm going to switch back to my more normal weapons. And I'm going to take the Dark Soul. You may have heard a weird sound a few moments ago right before I entered this room. There's a reason for that. That will become apparent in another few moments. This is where the prism is used. I don't know why Mike does this weird thing where he stands on one leg. These beams of light also pass through him, so that's kind of interesting. Um, but yeah, it takes you to this room. Where does this take you? Um, takes you here. Uh, this is... Uh, well, this won't tell us, actually. we got to pause the game. This is the engine block. Um, hang on. It's one of only three places in total in the game. And the only dead side location left that we don't have a warp for. We will actually be getting that warp at last. Um, just something that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, I'm going to save the game and pack it in here for the night. Um, so we're going to save the game. I do want to thank you so much for watching. Uh, please, uh, drop me a line in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. I will answer your comments if I can. Um, hopefully we get to do this again soon. Thank you. Bye.